Hello, my name is Marsha Johnson and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Together with my grandnieces and nephew, Allie, Ashley, and Ryan, we are Marsha's Crafts. Today we're going to make this very Versailles vintage card. Here's the inside. So, I guess let's just get going. To need this card, you will need the very Versailles stamp set, soft spring stamp set, layering ovals framelits and you will need the second and the third largest the stitch shape framelits and you'll need the second largest of the ovals for ink we have crumb cake hair pizzazz and blushing bride okay to purchase any of the products needed for this card which as usual measurements and products will be listed below the video um please go to marshascrafts.sampinup.net we would definitely appreciate your business also stick around to the end and i'll show you another version of this card done in highland heather okay so these are the things we'll need to stamp i think first we'll do our little focal image We'll start with the crumb cake. Oh, let me bring in a piece of paper because we are going to get a little messy here. Okay, first we'll start with our large flower image. There we go. Next, we'll do our green leaves. I'm just going to leave that crumb cake open because we'll be using it again in a minute as close as I can without totally getting my head in the camera. Okay. And then our blushing bride. All right, I'll lay that aside. Okay, let's see. This is for the inside of our card and I'm going to take this um, script and in, uh, I'm gonna use our crumb cake again, ink it up. Well, sadly, I don't have another sheet right Oh, well, here, we'll just do it this way and we will stamp on the other side. Okay, that kind of disguises that little smudge. Do the same thing with our envelope here. We'll bring in the green and just stamp like hmm, that. And do the same thing for the inside of our card. All right, now we're going to do the um, background for our the front of our card. And we're again going to start with the script and stamp off, so we're gonna stamp off. Oh wait, one more thing I wanted to do before I did that, I forgot. I'm gonna bring in my medium circle Put it on the card approximately where I'm going to put our central image, which is just slightly up from center. And I'm going to take a pencil and I'm just going to trace around the inside just to give me an idea of where my image is going to go. And that'll help me to stamp things. So, again, ink up in our crumb cake. I'm going to start at the top here. Okay, next I'm going to um, take this other crumb cake image. I'm going to stamp it once down here, about like that. And again up here, about like that. That should do it for our crumb cake. Bring back in our green. And we're going to do our leaves and we'll do one about, uh, about here. The other one, uh, like here. Okay, and that's it for our stamping. We will be using the crumb cake a little bit more later to do some sponging, but for now, let's put it away, put everything away. Okay, so we are going to um, be cutting out some things. Our crumb cake layer will be the largest of the ovals then we'll do a blushing bride and with our stitch shape framelit we will cut out our focal image and of course I've already done that so let's 
bring in those pieces. Okay, and we can get started with the assembly of our card, which is to put the inside on the inside. We're gonna take this layer and we're going to tear it to fit on the front of our Blushing Bride layer. So I would start by, I'm gonna tear it towards me because I want that um, rough edge to show. So I'll start with one with the top or the bottom, either one, and then one of the sides. If you um, are a little afraid to tear, um, take a water um, brush and run it down, probably on this side, run it down where you, where you think you might wanna tear. It'll make the tearing a little easier. But after you do it a couple of times, you'll it won't scare you anymore. Okay, then I think we're gonna go about here. Remember, you can always tear more, but you can't put it back once you've torn it. So better to be a little conservative and then uh, go back later. I think about this much here. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna bring our sponge and sponge pretty much everything. Oh, you know, I forgot to, you know, I keep doing this. I forgot to sponge the inside of my card. So we're just gonna do it like this. You could take something and mask it off there, but I, I really don't think it matters that much. We're just gonna rough it up a little bit. There you go. And we'll sponge the rest of these. You can see, especially on that torn side, it, it, it just looks really good. Brings me back to the old days when we used to sponge everything. You could also use a sponge dauber for this, but I find I like the I like the effect of the regular sponge better. I find I like to give the corners just a little bit extra. All right, that should do it, and we are ready to assemble. Okay, we'll put our blushing bride layer onto our crumb cake layer and our little image onto the Blushing Bride layer. And we'll mount our gray vanilla layer to our Blushing Bride layer. Okay, then we're going to take some lace and I'm going to take some snail and put it down on the back. And I'm going to put the lace across just a little bit lower than the center part of that circle where I'm gonna put my focal image. And I'm gonna take some twine or linen thread. If you take your thumbnail and just rub it along, it gets most of those kinks out. So we'll stick that right there and just wrap it three times around. There we go. One, two, three. And I'm gonna take a piece of tape and stick it down there. Okay, then we can mount that down on the front of our card. You could put this up on dimensionals, but I prefer just one layer of dimensionals when I'm gonna send something through the mail. Come on here. Okay, then we'll put dimensionals on the back of our image here. I'm gonna stick the other two up here because I want them on top of this. I want them to go up here, not on here. And we'll put our image on right about there. Then I'm gonna get a glue dot and I'm going to scrunch it all up, put it right about there and get my little bow that I've already made. It's a little triple bow made out of the linen thread. And we're gonna stick that right there. Maybe trim our little tie a little bit. There we go. And then to finish things off, I'm gonna get some pearls. And I think I put one here, one here, and one here. And that's our card. And here's the original. And as promised, I'm going to bring in um, the other version that I did. This version used the Inspiring Iris stamp set and Highland Heather, otherwise it's exactly the same. And there's that one. I don't know, I'm kind of fond of the fond of the iris, but I like them both. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed making this these cards. And if you did, perhaps you could give us a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to our channel and even share our video. That would be very kind. Um, hope you have a great day. I'm looking forward to a 
beautiful Sunday in uh, slightly warm Sacramento. Hope it's nice where you live and see you soon. Bye-bye.